Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I will discuss variable arithmetic operators. The arithmetic operators take numerical values, perform arithmetic operation and return single numerical value. Let me open the code editor and I will show you by doing some arithmetic operations. I have this simple index.html file and inside that I have linked the external JavaScript file myscript.js, this one and these two files are located inside the exercise folder. I will open the myscript.js. Uh, I have already listed down the arithmetic operators. You can see them. And these are the multi-line comments. Uh, anything between the slashes and star will be ignored by the JavaScript. So this list is just for demonstration purposes. The standard arithmetic operators include the addition operator, the subtraction operator, the multiplication operator, the division, the modulus, and increment and decrement operator. Let me perform these arithmetic operations one by one. To perform arithmetic operation, I will need some variables. I will declare some variables. For example, x equal to 100 and y equal to 20. And uh, I will need a third variable to store the result of these two variables inside that war a a for addition and then x then plus this is the arithmetic addition operator it will add these two values the value of x and the value of y and it will return or assign the result or addition to the variable a let me display the variable a inside the browser but before that i need a label for the uh, addition document dot write method and I will add a label this is just for demonstration purposes and I will display right I will display the variable a as a result in browser I will save it I will open index.html file so you can see the output is 120 so this plus this plus sign adds the two values the values of x and y and then it assign it to the variable a let me perform the subtraction operation and for that i will require a variable wars s for subtraction and x minus y and i will use this statement also and now i will use the subtraction subtraction and before that i also need a line break document dot write and break statement or break element this is break element of the html5 it will just create a line break in html document and let me display the output of variable s i will save this s for subtraction and now you can see this subtraction operator subtracts these two values and assign the result to the variable s let me move forward and perform uh, the multiplication and division I will copy the same line of statements so I will say M for multiplication and I will use the multiplication operator and now multiplication I will write multiplication and I will display the result of M I will save this file and now it will multiply the value of x with the y. Let me create a line break. I will copy this line and paste it right after this and also right after this. So let me apply the division operator. And for the division, I will use D. You can use any name. It is up to you. Division and I will display the result of D 
So now we will see the division of these two values x and y. I will save it and you will see the division. So this is the division result of x and y. I will move forward and I will add the modulus operator. Let me copy this all statement for the modulus too and for the modulus I will use the percentage sign and modulus and I will replace D with M and same will go here and I will save this file and now you can see the modulus so these are the basic operation arithmetic operation addition subtraction multiplication division and modulus and this is the way to apply and assign uh, the arithmetic operation on variables now I will perform some increment operation and decrement operation for the increment operation I will declare a variable i with value 5 and then the increment operator plus plus and then the variable what this increment operator will do it will increment the value of i by 1 let me display the value of i after the increment operation this time I am using the increment and I will simply display the value of i I will save this script and let me refresh the page so this is the increment operation you can see the value of i was initially 5 so the increment operator incremented the value of i by 1 and the result is 6 now the same goes for the decrement operator I will copy these statements and for the decrement operator I will use variable k with value of 20 and I will replace the plus plus sign with a minus minus so this is decrement operator and it will decrement the value of k by 1 so this time I am using the decrement operator decrement operator I will replace the value of i here with the k I will save this script and I will refresh the page so you can see the value of k is 19 initially it was 20 and then it is decremented by the decrement operator and then the result became 19 so these are the increment and decrement operator operations you must also be aware of prefix and postfix increment and decrement operators this is prefix increment operator and this is postfix increment operator this is prefix decrement operator and this is postfix decrement operator now let me explain what is the difference between prefix and postfix operator for example if you have a variable with value 10 and if you are performing the prefix increment operation what will happen here the value of a is first incremented by 1 and then it is displayed by the right method in case of postfix increment operator the value of a is first displayed by right method and then the value of a is incremented let me save this script and I will show you the result inside the browser I will save it I will refresh the page so you can clearly see the prefix increment operation and the postfix increment operation the same goes for the decrement operators I will copy these lines I will replace increment with the decrement and I will also replace the increment with decrement operators this is prefix decrement operator and this is postfix decrement operator now what will happen in case of prefix decrement operator the value of a will be first decremented by 1 and then it will be displayed by right method in case of postfix decrement operator the value of a is first displaced by the right method and then the value of a is decremented let me save this script and I will show you the result inside the browser so you can clearly see this is the decrement operation pre by done by prefix operator and this is the decrement operation done by the postfix decrement operator so this is the difference between the prefix and postfix increment and decrement operators